Hi guys, and welcome to the video on the explanation of the balance scorecard. Now the balance scorecard is a great tool to track your company's goals and really see how you're performing in terms of the percentage achievement of the goals that you've set for yourself. What I want to do in this video is walk you through the individual customization steps to make sure that you can tailor this template to your specific needs. Now, this template actually comes with a pre-filled data set. And what, what I mean by that is that we're looking at a company that is trying to measure its operational performance. First of all, it's defining four overall categories. Transportation, warehousing, inventory management, and order processing. Within each of these overarching categories, we have strategic goals that we previously defined. Now let's take the first one, for example. We want to increase customer satisfaction. The way we measure this is we want to measure the percentage of the damaged goods delivered. We also define the unit of measurement. And these are all inputs that you are free to change. What we've also decided to do is we assign individual weights, both to the overall category, so let's say transportation in terms of import importance for us is 25% and to each of the strategic goals we've also assigned individual weights. Now these individual weights always need to add up to 100% whilst the overall categories also need to add up to 100%. You have a check at the bottom to make sure that these numbers tie in to 100%. So once we've defined these columns and we've assigned weights, units of measurement, strategic goals and the measurement as such, we have a system that assigns points based on the performance. So let's say if the percentage of damaged goods delivered is 4%, that would give us 50 points. It's not necessarily what we aim for, but let's say this is like the rock bottom of acceptable performance. If we want to perform really well, we get 100 points. And then we design the individual targets to both of these points. Now, once we're in the course of operations, we can then track the actual performance. And this can be entered here in column K. Based on this, we receive a score. Now, the score is basically just an individual score that we receive based on the defined targets here in I and J compared against the actuals. So let's take this first example. Our actual is 2%. Now this directly corresponds to the 100% value that we wanted to achieve. And therefore our score is 100. But if this changes to let's say 5%, then you see the score that we receive is only 25. And obviously, if this is 4%, meaning we just comply with the 50% over here, then of course, my score changes as well. Ultimately, what we also want to look at is the fulfillment. So let me quickly change this back to 2%. Now the fulfillment basically measures the overall score and multiplies it with the weight that we assign to this individual activity. Since this activity receives 30% in terms of importance, we get a fulfillment score of 30. Now, this is where you see that it's important that these numbers add up to 100% because only then we'll be able to get a weighted score that complies with the overall transportation importance for us. So in terms of customization, we've already talked about changing these individual categories. You need to make sure that the cell formats here are also changed. So in the first two examples, we're looking at percentages. But already the third strategic goal, which is a reduction in costs, we're actually talking about an average transportation cost per order measured in euros. So if you want to change that, you of course need to change these values to numeric values and not percentages. It's only up to you. You can just freely change these cell formats and it'll be translated accordingly. Now what if you wanted to remove a one of, one of these categories? Well you can just go in here and 
delete the row, that's it. But now you have one problem. You need to make sure that these individual categories add up to 100%. So you may want to change these weights so that this total adds up to 100% again. Let me quickly bring that back in. And I also want to show you how you can add another strategic goal. It's basically in the same fashion as deleting it. You just select the row, enter a new row in here. And what you can then do is just add the strategic goal, add the measurement, unit of measurement, and all the other things here. And then what you need to do is drag down this formula, drag down the fulfillment score. And now I'm just gonna mix something up. We're just gonna say that this is 10%, this is 35%, and let's say we get just these numbers. These are just arbitrary values now. You see that overall this adds up to 100%, so this is all fine, and whatever we've defined here, you know, this is free to change. Now one last thing I want to show you is if you open up the grouping over here, you see that there's one piece that updates the numbers. Basically, it just takes the first number over here and it adds a one. Now, this is just to make your life a bit easier that these numbers over here, if you drag these down, will then translate accordingly into the right number over here. See what I did? I just dragged this formula down to the newly added row and then I just extend it to the other rows within my data set, right? And this is how when I pull down these numbers, it's just a formula, it updates the numeration. Okay, so this is it for the explanation on the dashboard for the balance scorecard. I hope that you will be using this template because it really gives you a great and simple overview of how your company is performing.